Let's talk some pitching. Right. And I think the biggest one that we always hear about, you know, Ben McDonald, Jim Palmer always throw it out. Spin rate. Yeah. When we're talking about a pitch that a pitcher is throwing, can you tell me what the heck it is? Yeah, it comes from technology. You sort of think of uh, in the late 70s, the radar gun came into baseball. So that changed the way scouts evaluate the fastball. So instead of just observing it, looking at the batter's reaction, they now have this, this tool that could reveal quite exactly the velocity of the pitch. And so in time, scouts would feel naked if they were evaluating a fastball without a radar gun. So it, it illustrated the speed of the pitch, but it was no help in the movement, the spin, the movement of the pitch. It didn't help with the ball orientation. We were still in the dark of whether the movement is coming from the spin or the aerodynamic effects from the ball orientation. Uh, but those days have, are gone. We now know everything. Um, Close to everything. <laughs> we know the horizontal spin of the pitch, so we could see how much sweep, how much tail it has. We know the vertical spin of the pitch, so we could see how much it rides or how much depth that curveball may have. We know the rifle spin, sort of the cement mixer bullet spin of the pitch, which ha has its uses. Uh, but we also know the ball orientation. So, uh, without getting too much into the physics. <laughs> uh, so the spin obviously leads to movement, but there's right. extra movement you could get given the orientation of the ball and the seams. And before this, we were sort of in the dark. No human being could sense spin rate and identify very specific ball orientation, which would lead to this, this extra movement or not. But now we have it and just... We, would, we sort of feel naked now if we were to evaluate a pitch, um, any pitch, without this technology. Yeah, so let's use, say, a fastball as an example. There's, you know, pitcher A who has a 95-mile-an-hour fastball. The spin rate is kind of lower. Pitcher B, 92-mile-an-hour fastball with a really good spin rate. Can you tell me what the difference between those two pitches would look like? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the, the pitcher is doing all he can to get the hitter to miss the pitch. And some of that is going to be by throwing it faster, giving him less time to react, less time to get the, the heavy barrel out and hit the ball. But some of it, too, is going to be the spin and the movement, where even if he's on time, if the spin is surprisingly high with that surprising amount of lift, he still may hit under the ball, miss the ball completely. So I want to catch you there. When you say lift and the spin rate, can you just explain what a pitch with a higher spin rate is doing as it's coming across the plate? Right. So just by the way we naturally release the ball, the way we've been throwing since we're three years old, we're going to put some degree of backspin on the pitch. It's just the, the physics of our Right, when it releases physics. off your fingers, yeah. it's, it's spinning that way. And so that backspin is going to lead to movement of the pitch, or you could think of it, it fights off gravity um, a bit more than if there was no spin. And so for whatever reason, on purpose or happenstance or physiological reasons, some pitchers are able to put more backspin on a 92 mile an hour pitch than others. And so that ball is gonna behave a bit differently. And uh, if you could do some specific training and pitch design such that you could get the, the pitcher to maximize whatever he's trying to do, the combination of speed and spin that makes it difficult for the hitter, uh, you'll be a little bit better off. Yeah, so with that higher spin rate fastball, I'll just keep using that as the example, yeah. it's going to stay a little bit more on plane a little bit longer than one with a lower spin rate. So what does that usually do to hitters because hitters are expecting that fastball to drop a little bit. Are you seeing hitters kind of get on top of a higher spin rate fastball and, um, or maybe get underneath it? What, what kind of things yeah. are you seeing from hitters there? So probably these major league hitters ever since their dad started throwing, you know, tennis balls to them when they were three or four years old, they've been training themselves on hitting fastballs 
that move in a typical way. And so what we're describing is a, is a pitcher who has a surprising amount of hop. You know, yeah, maybe he's only throwing X miles an hour, but, but look at that spin rate. And so the hope with that is that it's going to be a little bit surprising. The hitter's going to have to make an, adjust, uh, an adjustment and may not be able to make that adjustment either perfectly or in time um, to get him a hit. And that this pitcher is going to be a little bit better because of that spin rate. And then obviously knowing this information is, will be tremendously valuable for our, for our pitching coaches and ultimately our pitchers. Yeah, and hopefully the hitters don't figure that out mid-at-bat and get a hit off the Orioles the pitchers. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sigmadel, thank you so much for breaking down these stats here with me. Really appreciate it. Happy to do it.